somebody was asking whether they have this is a Rena mall and someone was asking whether they have put pavements here the answer is no and you can see no pavements yet uh, these guys were resting because they had really worked for us who are near here we saw them they were working almost day and night before the summit so I think they gave them some few days to rest but today they have started uh, putting pavement from um, clock tower the other side so within uh, no time I don't think it will take a month they will be here and when they are done I will make a video to show you uh, the progress still yes but one thing you need to know is all roads are now open both the, the under tunnel the overpass for both pedestrians and vehicles everything is now fully open and uh, I can say I can say uh, uh, this thing is complete they are just doing finishing touches so right now the only people who are suffering are, are us the pedestrians we are still moving in sand otherwise no jam not high traffic vehicles are moving freely so those ones are already solved yes work has resumed So they are laying pavements here. Yeah. Work has now officially resumed again. And see how beautiful. Would you have a cover So if you have taken time without coming to Uganda, just know that our country is developing at least slowly, but uh, sure. By the way, that overpass there for vehicles is officially open. You can see there is a truck. I don't know whether you can see that truck. That truck, that one is passing there. It's, so it's officially open now for trucks only. Only vehicles. No motorbike, no pedestrian. This is the part designated for pedestrians. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, Jabwell, again. I'm giving you an update on the Kampala flyover project. Right now, everything is open and there are some rules that have been put in place. So it was to pass via the pedestrian overpass, like the one I'm just passing here. If you are caught, crossing the road like there you might be arrested depending on your luck rule number two you see those guys who are busy planting the the trees there if they find you in that in that uh, area like the way that lady is walking also you might be in trouble So this is where they want us to walk. The place is very wide. Even 10 people walk. See? It's wide. Even 10 people can walk. 
So you see like that gentleman crossing is just lucky. Otherwise, if, if they find you crossing and there is a security personnel around, he might be arrested. See these guys are still planting in more trees. Within just three to four years, all these uh, hot hotness which is here in Kampala is going to reduce. So, somebody is already selling eggs on top of the flyover. So over there, those were the things they were using to block block roads while they were still constructing. Now that most part of the place is already done, they have dumped them there. Maybe they will take it to another place. directed the water to be passed now, it's now the drainage here. So I'm putting so this is it. Pedestines this way. So, so, so I think they put this thing so that when they arrest you, you will not have anything to say. Here, they have also made a guide, Gaba Road, Guano, Entebbe and Shubia. So if you are planning to come, please try to, res to respect the rules that have been set by the authority. Use the part that has been designated for you and avoid the trouble. I think right now they are still pardoning some few people who are breaking the rules but maybe when they are done setting everything they are setting will be in for it. So this part here, they are going to be planting in flowers. This looks like flower triangle. And by the way, this place, this thing has light, and the light is hidden here. You 
see those ones? Those are the lights. It's actually cool up here. The temperature here is cool. So those you see now, I'm a person, I'm a people are there trying to cut the place. That part there is for those who are going the other side. Over here, this is the people here. They call it Sour Yak Bridge, but it is a, it's a it's a clock tower. They say it in the announcement that it will be ringing every hour with a very loud gong. Every hour, once it is completed. So this is the <coughs> see the way these guys have made it. Now those who are coming from the other side, they just have that part. To and then those who are going direct, they go. They stop. Somehow there is confusion, but uh, so far so good. There is confusion in the middle there. Unlike those who are using this, and then those who are actually using this. You can see over here that there is also an arrow that shows people coming this way. There are arrows with different meanings. The problem is just the... I don't know how they are going to sort that out. Now imagine that gentleman, that brother brother, his goods have just fallen down. Somebody is trying to help over there. Then over this side, we do have a very beautiful view, but here, yeah. they are still planting in more stuffs, and the road looks nice and cool. far majority of the people are respecting the rule but only the other guy is breaking the rule and that is very very dangerous you see if he's not there i don't know who is going to blame but majority of people are so far adhering to the rules you can see people are walking on the Massive 
little project and looks very very By the way, these guys have resumed work. Uh, uh, the other time, they, I think they were resting, like I said. But now, they have resumed work. They are completing the, their work. You can see this one's uh, laying pavement also. The pavements, they are already laying them. So work has again resumed. And very, very soon, it will be officially launched, but so far everything is under use. People are using everything right now. See that? Call the way, Ah, yeah. So you can see this one is already pulling the papers, taking them to different places. So in other words, in a short while from now, everything will be ready. Let me go and show you the what they've used the other side. So over here, I am under the overpass for the trucks. You see, including the other side, they are laying, they are putting on pavements. Work has resumed with full force, and these guys are very, very serious. Very, very serious working. Those guys are putting papers, even this side. So, these are the stones these guys have used here. Very nice, beautiful stones. See the way they are trying to design it. I'll come and show you what, how it is going to look like when it's done. They actually poured here concrete. This looks like concrete. Yeah, they actually poured concrete here. I think this particular is maybe how they want it to look like because here it's done and they poured concrete. Somebody has even, has even claimed the bed here. Street people are already sleeping here. Today. So we are closer to the under tunnel. Like I said, they are still uh, making the roads very well. 
here they have, they have brought in this, this ones. You know better how they are going to do it. But for the sake of the rules, you can see they put in a person walking with a cross, meaning nobody is allowed to walk uh, via the under tunnel. They have also put in a motorcycle and a cross, which also means no, no motorbikes are also allowed by, uh, through the under tunnel. It's only trucks or vehicles which are allowed. They also put in the signs to guide you where you, you are going so that you, you know where you are going. And that because there are some people who actually do not know where these roads lead to because they have made them very wide. You can see this one. This one is for those who are going to Gaba. And uh, yeah, Gaba. Then the other one, the tunnel, is for those who are going through Chibuli and Mukwano, but it's only for vehicles. The same thing applies to the other side, also Chibuli and Mukwano, but uh, mostly for both vehicles and motorbikes, also only. For us, the pedestrians, we walk this side. That's why they are putting for us pavers. What I, 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 I thought that after the summit, these guys were not going to, to work because they had a long rest. I think uh, four days, because the summit, the summit ended, uh, uh, I know it's not so long, around three, three days rest. Today, they are very serious. They have started from the other side of town, the other side of the clock tower. They are seriously busy putting favors. And if they continue like that, it will not take them two weeks when they are done. I would have shown you inside the under tunnel, but I have to respect the rules set by the authorities. They can arrest me there and I will have nothing to say. Because everything is very clear. They have put posts, sign posts, they have been putting vehicles with a loudspeaker telling people what to do. What will I say now if they arrest me? Okay. But here is some sort of one way. are somehow confused. 